As many of us did whenever Windows 10 first came out, we all went ahead and upgraded our laptops and our desktops to the latest and greatest Windows operating system, Windows 10. Unfortunately, with doing that, uh, we are now experiencing problems with Windows 10. One of the problems that I'm going to be talking about today is the slow boot up time for Windows 10. And if you're one of those people that has that problem, well, I hate to say it, but uh, you're SOL. And sucks to be you. <laughs> now, nah, just kidding. I'm going to go ahead and tell you how to fix that, or at least a workaround for that anyways. One of the things that you can do about it is go to your task manager. So you right click on the taskbar down there in the empty space that you have on the taskbar if you have it available. If not, just hit control alt to the delete and then click on task manager. Okay, once you're in the task manager, just go to the startup tab. And once you're in there, it's going to show you all the programs that starts up with your computer. Okay, and out of all the programs that you got starting up with your computer, if you have any of them that says hi, you're probably going to want to go ahead and disable that. Uh, also, you don't want to disable your antivirus, your graphics card, and uh, any and a spyware or malware. You, uh, you don't want to disable those programs. Other than that, other, all the other programs should be okay to disable. So that's one way to be able to speed up your boot time. Another thing that you could try is to try the hybrid shutdown and startup. Now, I have done that with one of my older laptops. I have an older laptop which is a Dell Inspiron okay and I went ahead and upgraded that to Windows 10 and when I did that the boot time was like really slow so I went ahead and did a hybrid shutdown on it and when you do the hybrid shutdown your startup also uh, starts up really quick as well because it just goes in like hibernation mode and it shuts the computer down but it just goes in hibernation so whenever you start your computer back up it starts up from the hibernation mode and it really starts up pretty quickly you would think that you have an SSD in your in your computer instead of a you know a rotary hard drive unless of course your computer already comes with an SSD I know you have a question and your question is how do I do a hybrid shutdown well, the way that I'm going to show you how to do a hybrid shutdown is going to be pretty much simple and easy. And then once you do this and you have the shortcut made and everything, it's going to make it really easy whenever you go to shut down your computer. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and go to your power settings. To do that, just go into your search area right there and type in power or just ask Cortana power. Then from there, all you have to do is click on power options. From there, you want to click on choose what the power button do. And from there, you want to make sure turn on fast startup is checked. Okay, what you want to do from here, you want to go ahead and right-click on your desktop, go to new, and then go to shortcut. Then what you need to do, you need to type this in. Okay, and I'll have this down in the description so you can just copy and paste. From here, you can go ahead and name it. You can name it whatever you want. You can leave it a shutdown, or you can go ahead and type in hybrid shutdown. like I just did right there. Okay, uh, Once you do that, all you have to do is click on finish. And you'll see your hyper shutdown shortcut right there. Okay, from here, what I need you to do is go ahead and right click, go to properties, make sure the shortcut tab is selected and click on change icon. And in here, you're gonna see plenty of icons that you can choose from. And it doesn't really matter, you know, which icon that you pick. And you just pick whichever one you want and as you can see there's plenty of them here but my favorite is this one is the red uh, shutdown button after that you want to hit apply or ok or both of them at the same time it doesn't matter from there you want to take this button and you want to put it somewhere where you ain't going to accidentally delete it so what I, what I do is go ahead and put it in my documents or you can put it in whatever folder you want just as long as it's not sitting on your desktop from there what you want to do is right click on the program and you want to go ahead and click on pin to taskbar okay and that way it'll be on your taskbar down below as you see highlighted there then you also want to right click again and you want to click on pin to start okay down on your taskbar you want to go ahead and take it and drag it all the way over so it'll have it closer to the start button then when we go to click on the start button you're going to see your shutdown button right there the start menu from there whenever you go to shut down your computer you should always shut it down using the hybrid start button and you would notice a significant increase in your boot up time and it'll pretty much cut it in half well that's it for this video comment give me a thumbs up and subscribe